This is the future they fear. If you like the future in which you get to be whoever and whatever you want to be and nobody else can do anything about it, that is the future they're afraid of. We found a new conservative comic artist. Ta Tasuya Ishida. Nice name. And they make some conservative comics. They are uh, pretty dumb, and we're going to go over them. This one's called The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the LGBTQIA2S drag queen community and to the corporations for which we stand, one government under pharma with surveillance and injections for all. Ah... Very cute, for, for starters, very cute art style, you know? I can say at the very least that uh, they finally managed to make uh, a conservative comic art style that doesn't make me want to vomit, so that's nice. So I guess we'll go over, like, the the um, implications, argument, and narrative being pushed in this comic, I suppose. So first we have, you know, just, a, you know, a class telling the you know, Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, so for starters, the Pledge of Allegiance is stupid and weird, okay? If this comic isn't already insinuating that the fact we do the Pledge of Allegiance isn't stupid and weird already, then then that's ironic as fuck. Like, if the comic, and, and you know the comic artist is not anti-Pledge of Allegiance. You know the conservative comic artist does believe our students should at every day at 8 a.m. be forced to stand a uh, fucking right hand to their chest and look at a flag and do the and do a fucking cult like him for their for their country. OK, you know, for a fact that this conservative comic artist does believe that the students should be doing that. The thing that they find to be the problem is, though, is when. Now it's a, it's a gay flag. Now there's a few things to point out here. For starters, the implication that in our schools, being LGBT is like safe is really funny, especially with all the anti-gay bills passing. Don't say gay, the fucking, I mean, they, they're basically just copy pasting the don't say gay bill everywhere. Local Republican politicians are trying to push it really hard at a state level. So the idea that like there are pride or progress flags well, up in happens, schools is hilarious to me. That is, Oh, hilarious to me. Also, here, is this even like the correct acronym? LGBTQIA2S? Is there a 2S there? Or is this just like the, um, is this LGBTQIXYZ? Is, is it the joke where it's haha -ha acronym, acronym long? 9S? Oh, it's two spirit? Okay, so it's not just them making fun of the acronym. That's good. Okay. And then drag queen community. I don't know why drag queen is added in. Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know what, why they'd be, okay, is this, do they think, the implication of this comic is either that this is happening in schools, or that this will happen. It's a slippery slope, after all. Don't look that up, though. Hey, hey, it's a slippery slope, but don't look that up. Don't look that, that specific sentence up, because you might find something on Google that will, uh, maybe make you realize the right is full of shit. And the corporations for which we stand. So I guess the implication here is that, like, the LGBT acceptance movement is being headed entirely by corporations and that we're standing those corporations. The, the real lefty take that isn't the straw man the right wants to make is actually that the right is mad that corporations want to market to the most, mar you know, profitable demographic they can. And right now, being progressive and not anti-gay is the most profitable way to run a business. So that's how they're running their businesses. And uh, you guys get mad about brown people being in their media when they do the like most milquetoast examples of like representation. When you get mad about it because you hate brown people um, or gay people or whatever, um, then we make fun of that. And so you think we're standing corporations. That's the only way I can interpret this, this comic. Um, one government, I'm not in favor of big government, don't know what that's all about, under pharma, so this is obviously the anti-vax stuff, this comic artist is obviously anti-vax, under pharma with surveillance and injections for all. So yeah, clearly this person's also an anti-vaxxer. Who would have thought? Let's go to the next one. Woke survivalist. Woke tube. Hey, y'all, woke survivalist here on how to survive the collapse of civilization. Step one, fastened pronoun badge. Re-re. 
Step two, haha, <laughs> pronouns. Step two, think deeply about your cishet white privilege. Wait, but isn't this person trans? But this person isn't cis, they're trans. They, they wear, they wear, I like how they did that, like, hold on, can I get rid of the chat for a second? Because they, they, like, tryharded a lot here to make, like, the woke person look as ugly as possible. Can I, like, uh, there we go. Like, they gave the the like the woke person one buck tooth like no eye pupil on one eye they, they kind of try hard a little bit too much on this one not gonna lie they look kind of they kind of look cute they tried but it's still cute yeah i mean they, they tried anyway regardless um isn't like how, how are they how are they cis if they're using pronouns that aren't even the straw man isn't consistent in the in what they're trying to build of the left, you know? Like, like even their straw man of the left isn't even consistent, you know? Think deeply about your cishet white privilege. Wait for government to come help. I I'm going to assume that, like, the left being in favor of big government is going to be a common uh, trend among these comics. Are, are these not, like, anti like Antifa types that like to beat up cops and burn down cities? It isn't, like, wait, are we... Guys... Guys, we're going back. Wait, we're going back to the left being the um the pathetic, sniveling, non-threat again. Because back to back, you know, during the time when the left was on top, the left was this threat: Antifa, super soldiers, uh, milk shaking people with with uh, uh, cement and hitting people with bike locks. Like that was the narrative: Antifa burning down cities, uh, BLM burning down cities. Like the the left is dangerous was the narrative for like. The last couple years. Now we're back to the 2016 era. I know I'm doing it again. We're back to the 2016 era of the left are these little sniveling non. Th it's it's the thing of the enemy is both strong and weak. The enemy is strong when they need it to be, and the enemy is weak when they need it to be. Transhumanism. So far, this looks pretty dope. Anti-religion. M muting oh m muting wait wait okay so this person is is using their okay so this is what's happening here they're getting they're getting their elon musk vaccine brain chip they're getting their vaccine brain chip which is allowing them to tap into the metaverse because they believe that the vaccine and the metaverse are connected. For those of you guys who don't know, there is a narrative and a, and a conspiracy theory about the the vaccine putting the metaverse chips into you. Um, so I guess this lady got the this this gay lefty lady with the rainbow haircut because you know obviously she's a progressive. And I guess this person draws for like left wing people as having fucked up eyes. Maybe it's because like the like in a, a lot of religions, your eyes are viewed as like the 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 window to the soul. So they're depicting. Um, lefties as being soulless or as having half a soul maybe that's where that comes from that wouldn't surprise me a very common trend among right-wing uh demagogues to dehumanize the left and to sp specifically dehumanize the marginalized groups the left advocates for it's the uh only way to you know truly instill hate towards a um a marginalized group into a population um so i guess this vaccine chip puts her into the uh the metaverse and you know she's walking down the street and, and doing her metaverse stuff, and there's a preacher on the street preaching good Christian values, but now this woman can mute those good Christian values and can pick however they want to look, and, and, and the good Christian values are muted while everybody gets to pick their own appearance and identity. Wait, this is actually the future they're afraid of. The idea that people would be able to just say, I don't want to listen to what you crazy dumb fucks have to say. I'm going to go do what I want to do and live your own life, not hurting anybody, living your own identity and who you want to be separate from what other people are trying to push on you. This is what they're afraid of. This is the future they fear. If you like the future in which you get to be whoever and whatever you want to be and nobody else can do anything about it, that is the future they're afraid of. Damn. I love when they say the quiet part out loud and the loud part quietly. Here's another one. Here's some kids uh, in a school restroom. A school restroom. Uh, some little girls in a school restroom washing their hands, apparently. And then a... what? Who is supposed to be an adult trans woman walks in. A very unflattering depiction. The beard, the, the, the facial hair, the, 
the the broad shoulders. By the way, the implication is that like I love the implication that most cis men can achieve this physique as well, like like realistically. Like I love the the implication that most cis men even have this physique. That's the funniest thing to me. Um, when they draw comics like this, as if like this is what trans women look like, and that's why, even if this is what trans women look like, it wouldn't be bad. But the implication is this is what trans women look like, and it's bad. When that's not even true of most cis men, dude. Like you walk down the street, how many dudes do you see? Like I know this is a, a you know a pretty like overrepresented like exaggerated depiction, but like how many Chad looking people do you see walking down the street that look like this? Not that many, right? Anyway, trans woman walks into the restroom, uh, a, 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 ch a, ch a children's school restroom, and says, hello, fellow gals, just using the bathroom of my authentic gender, tee hee, I'm just a girl in the world and peeing, and then the, the little girls run away scared. This doesn't happen. It really is just, just a fun little fantasy that the right can just create for a comic and pretend it happens. And then people create laws and policy based off of this fantasy. That is what's happening. The right has made up this fantasy in their head, and then politicians are writing policy based off of this fantasy. This is fake. This is imaginary. This is as real as the fucking dreams you have at night. Here's more anti-vax stuff. Pfizer has released its ad adverse events data. How co uh, consider of them? Uh, uh, arthritis, autoimmune disorder, brain COVID-19, COVID-19, cardiac arrest, cardiac failure, diabetes, facial paralysis, hepatitis, herpes, infertility, myocarditis, so just a bunch of fucking side effects of vaccines, just anti-vax stuff. Oh boy. War. Oh, I love, wait, is the implication that like the, the news would be covering the harmful side effects of the vaccine? Herpes? Wait, is herpes? Wait, 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 wait. Was her herpes? Wait, did did the right artist include herpes as one of the side effects of the vaccine? Infertility. Ah, uh, the fucking um, the the what was it? The balls thing. The the inflated balls. The the infertile inflated balls divorce thing. That was that was, that Tucker Carlson pushed with uh, what was it? It was Nicki Minaj, right? That pushed that. I I think it was. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. I mean, obviously, this is like a, a Nicki Minaj's cousin, yeah. Obviously, this is like, this person is an anti-vaxxer and thinks that, probably thinks that Russia's in the right, and that's why they're anti-covering the war. Mind you, the people who are pro-Russia are very, very much against covering anything to do with the war, because all you're doing is signal-boosting Russia's war crimes, and they don't like that. Please tell us your preferred pronouns. Uh... Just normal girl pronouns for normal girls. Clutch, gra gasp, pearl clutch. Now, now, it's her first day. She'll learn. T like, legitimately, they think this happens. They think this actually happens. Oh my god, wait. Wait, are we- Are you fucking serious? Wait, we're going full JQ. Wait, we're going full JQ. Okay. So either this person literally believes in lizard people, or they're JQing. Do you think they literally think that lizards are controlling the world, or do you think it's the Jews? What do you think? What do you guys bet? Which do you guys think this artist believes? JQing. So here's the parent bringing their kid to school. Oh, good. White, white, very important. White, straight, Christian, good, which means good. All those things are synonymous with good to conservatives, remember. Good family, comes to school, drops the kid off, comes to school, starts learning about trans, uh, trans and gay unicorns. This is framed as bad, by the way, because the, the stripes are in the trans colors, of course, which are, um, you know, it's not good. It's not good for kids to be learning about. Then the, the Jewish teacher, uh, teaching blue brain, pink brain, and, and about, uh, dicks and vaginas and gender, uh, and then the, the current, like, a, what, what appears to me to be this person's best attempt at an artistic representation of a simplification of the current scientific consensus among the overwhelming majority of scientific, academic, and medical institutions. So I, I don't know, like, yeah, of course that's what's being taught. The kids, of course, being brainwashed, uh, the, 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 the Jewish... Oh, of course, we got apparently pr pronouns Pornhub. 
is being shown by the Jews to the kids. There is a narrative that the Jews are pushing porn to kids at a young age in order to make them infertile so that black people will start having more sex with white women to create more mixed race, race children and thus breed out white people. That is a very common narrative. The, 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 the Jew grooming narrative, I guess, is what we're seeing here. School lets out. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. A parent has walked in. Oh no, the, the alarm that signals a parent has entered the facility has happened. So then the, they, they transform back into a human and pretend like they're just having a normal class once the parent walks in. But in reality, it's... <laughs> they believe this is real. They believe the Jewish agenda is being taught in our schools. The Jew I don't know. I feel like the anti-Semitism is a good place to leave off on this particular comic. Anyway... I boy, boy, do I sure love the fact that I'm going to get to New Game Plus Gamergate. God, it's going to be so fucking fun. I'm so fucking glad I get to New Game Plus Gamergate. All right? Uh, listen, that's how we need to view it. All right? Those of you that didn't get to be around for Gamergate or weren't on the left for it, now you get to New Game Plus it. That's what we're doing out here. We're New, we're new Game Plusing Gamergate. If you enjoyed this segment, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon if you haven't already and you want to see more from me so YouTube actually tells you when I go live or upload a new video. And of course, consider following my social medias, all linked down below, including my fan discord. Um, with all that said, if you want to support me financially, you can donate, subscribe, or gift a sub over on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or support me through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, uh, Stream Elements, or even through Patreon. With all that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of y'all later.